world is a mystery. The universe is a conundrum that we are trying to solve every single day. It's astonishing to me to actually be alive. We're in this sort of golden age. We have satellites, multiple satellites with very fancy detectors that can measure all kinds of things. Think of a problem, no matter how large it is, how to provide energy to the nine billion people who will be alive on the planet in 2050, how to provide clean water, how to cure cancer, how to cure dementia. We've got to reform education, and we've got to come up with jobs programs. Can we account for why there are clusters of stuff, huge conglomerations of galaxies in one place in the sky, and then huge voids somewhere else? What accounts for the structure that we see in the universe? To me, life is a stunning mystery. If you're not curious, you're not living. Why are you here? With the political climate, the economic climate, everything that's going on, you have to stay curious because if you're not curious about what's going on, you're going to be lost. One of the ways I stay curious is by going to these events and hearing these really smart people from all these different fields um, really talk about what's coming next. If we always do that we've always done, we, we always land up where we've always been. So if you have to be different and you have to change course, I think we all have to be open. And if you have to be open, you can't but help to be curious. So I think it's a great mantra to have and it's no more a choice. I think, uh, I think it's a necessity. Once you get into being curious, there's so much around you that makes life rewarding and rich and fun. Being curious and discovering and making mistakes and getting back up and doing it again, and, and that's, I mean, that's, that's a fun way to live. I think in the business world, we get so caught up on the bottom line and deadlines and a return on investment, and all of those things are important to keeping businesses moving, but if you don't take time to look outside of that and play, you can't grow into new areas and, and, and expand your horizons. The most interesting things come out of people that are interested in things. I mean, you have to have a passion for wanting information. The question that you should be asking other people is, why aren't you curious? I travel a ton and that helps me stay curious. I uh, also use my senses and I open my eyes a lot and I, so I see things and I observe what I see and then I often have questions about what I see and I don't mind asking them. I have no bashfulness about that, which often leads to more curiosity. So it's sort of a virtuous cycle of magic. Makes everything better. Also bacon and whiskey. Whiskey keeps me curious. Curiosity is one of the things that makes me go sit down. It's the surprise, the sort of, wow, I said that, or I did that, or that's where this ended up. Every time I think I know a bunch of stuff, I, I encounter something that convinces me I know so little. And things like the Idea Festival are absolutely perfect for that. There's something very special about a person and an audience interacting with one another. At the Idea Festival, there's these incredibly smart people who have fascinating things to say, and they've poked so many holes in my head that I've got to go back and fill in that I think it's going to keep me charged up and curious for another year.